Welcome, I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we're going to start a Bible book study. Woo! So this is going to be a Bible book study on the book of Hosea, and I'm going to take you along with me and tell you how I'm doing it and show you, and I hope you have fun with me. Okay, so the first steps that I have done is I've read the book in the KJV and also the NLT, which is my two favorite Bible versions. And it took me two days in each, so it took me about four days. And so what I did was I tried to keep the annotating and the highlighting and kind of like writing notes as a minimum. So this is my um, on-the-go Bible, um, but I do mark in it. And so I did do a little bit of marking, a little bit of highlighting. And that little pink sticky note that you saw, I wrote just a few notes that really just made me stop and think or something. And um, so that was it for, for this. So I don't write in my NLT Bible at all. Um, I just wanted that to be slick and clean. <laughs> um, so there's no notes in that one. So a few weeks passed before I was really able to uh, get this video recorded. Um, so I decided to actually read it again. And I read it again in the KJV. And then I took my notes journal right here and I took more in-depth notes not like verse mapping or anything but I just wrote down like okay I want to get that definition I want to look up that what does that mean asking a lot of questions there's a lot of <laughs> question marks on my notes um, and it's uh, going chapter by chapter um, and anything that sticks out to me I you know write it down um, I just wanted to make sure when I go through to really dig deep into it that I still have some of my thoughts from the first second or third time that I read the book and I do want to make sure that I get all the meanings of the names I want to make sure I look at some maps on the locations that they talk about here um, so I just kind of wrote all that down so I really think that the first step of studying a book or studying anything in the Bible is really just taking the time to read. So highly, highly recommend that you read the book at least once um, before diving in or digging deeper um, for the first time. So if you've watched my newer um, verse mapping videos, you know that I have recently came out with a new uh, verse mapping templates and one of those templates is the background information template. I love this template and I definitely plan on using these and creating one for all 66 books of the Bible. But for this series, I really wanted to do everything and put all my notes and everything possible into this journaling Bible. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time and I just want to see how that will go. Um, so I'm not going to be using my background information sheet for it, although I will be copying it and making one for it. So the book of Hosea is actually a really special book to me because back in 2017, when God really called me to teach, it's one of the first books I decided to dig deeper in for the first time. And this is the Bible that I had, and this is the journal that I used. And I went chapter by chapter asking who, what, when, where, why, how, questions, um, interpretation, and application. Um, so that's just kind of how I did it. Um, it. I was looking at the inductive method, I think. And I didn't know how to study the Bible. I didn't know what to do. So this is just what I did. And I learned so much and grew so much just studying this Bible or this book chapter by chapter. And it's been since 2017 since I've dug deep into the book. Now, I have read the book um, since then, um, but I have not dug deep. So digging deep, like I'm going to show you in this series, takes a lot of time. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. So how I decided to really put um, everything into my journaling Bible is I decided to just cut down a dot grid sheet of paper to the size that I that fits inside my journaling Bible, which is like six by nine, I think, six inches by nine inches. And so I'm going to put all of the background information on this sheet and then I'm going to tape it into my journaling Bible. 
So the author of Hosea is Hosea, although some people say, or scholars, I guess, say that they think that maybe parts of it is not. Um, but for the most part, I think it is pretty unanimous that Hosea wrote Hosea. And then I did a semi word study on Hosea, um, just the, what the name meant. Um, so H Hosea, the son of Bear, Bear, I'm, I'm, I'm mm, Barry, I don't know how to say, <laughs> I do not know how to say Bible names. So, so who is this written to? Um, so this was written to the children of Israel, primarily to the Northern Kingdom. Um, you can find that in chapter one, verse one and chapter four, verse one. Um, also called Imperim, again, with the names I'm really bad at. Um, there was mostly primarily to the Northern Kingdom, Israel, but it also became a warning to the Southern Kingdom, also known as uh, Judah basically warning them do not copy your brothers uh, your brother which is Israel um, but I think eventually they do because they eventually get conquered by Assyria as well although the northern kingdom gets conquered first so then I am just making it pretty and putting my little you know rainbow boxes around each of the different background information sections i guess and uh so then we get to the literary style so i thought this was really interesting the things that i found with the literary style is obviously this is a prophetic style book um but chapters one through three really read more of a historical narrative telling the history of the family of hosea like a biography and then chapters 4 through 14 is very much just prophetic oracles, you know, judgments um, to Israel and what's going to happen and prophesying what's going to happen. Um, so the literary style really is just a prophet, prophetic style prophecy, although some, some say that maybe some of it could be poetry or satire, but we're just going to go with prophetic or prophecy. So when was this written? So in the first verse of the first chapter, it says, In the days of Uzziah, Jotham, uh, ah Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joaz, king of Israel. And so if you look up different study Bibles and different things on the internet, um, trying to get the historical uh, things, is basically Hosea was during the reign of between 73 BC and 687 BC, the later half of the eighth century. And he probably prophesied in his ministry was probably 20 to 35 years. Um, so that's kind of where I put, when was it written? Um, probably sometime during his lifetime in what realm it was happening as well. And then, where was it written from? So it was most likely written from Israel, the northern kingdom. And it could also, he could have also moved to um, Judah in the later part of his ministry because the northern kingdom was going to uh, get conquered by Assyria. Um, there's a little bit of different scholars say different things, um, where it was written from, but especially since he named the kings of Judah first, um, in the beginning of the verse, but we're going to just say that it was written from Northern Israel. It's not too big of a deal if we don't know that. So the location is Israel and Judah. So the entire land of Israel and Judah, or Canaan, basically, uh, the promised land of um, Israel from God. And last but not least, we get into the cultural background information. What can we learn from the cultural or the background information? And basically, it is primarily in the later half of the 8th century was the most turbulent and trying time for Israel prior to the captivity. 
Israel's last six kings were especially wicked. They promoted heavy taxes, oppressed the poor, and worshipped uh, pagan gods and idols, totally disregarding God. It is the years of decline leading up to the fall to Assyria. Um, so it was a pretty hectic time, um, although probably physically they became rich in some sort of ways, but spiritually they were dying um, pretty dead. Then we're in a doornail. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, if you want to know how I got all this information and how I gathered it, I have an in-depth study on how to back, how to gather background information on my channel. I'll also leave it in the link um, below in the description. Um, so, you can kind of see how I really do that. I just use a lot of resources, as many as I can get my hands on, um, just to compare and contrast. There's a bunch of free resources online as well um, different scholars and things you can find online um, but I'll leave a link in the description if you're really wondering how I got all this uh, information um, it also came from quite a bit of my study Bibles that I am uh, recently acquiring um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just tape this piece of paper into my bible so i don't have any pretty washi tape <laughs> i just have this like masking tape that i use for my paintings um and it, it's pretty good um sticky wise so i think it's going to work just fine i was trying to find something skinny to really poke down in there um but it seemed like it was uh doing just fine so i <laughs> realized that i didn't cut off like the holes in this for like putting this in a binder or something so i had to stick tape in the back of the page so it wouldn't stick to the next page and i'm also thinking about doing this for the rest of the book of Hosea. having that extra sheet of paper for notes seems like a great idea so this is the first video of the series uh starting our journey through the book of Hosea and I hope you study with me and I hope you're patient with me because these videos are going to take a long time um, to really study and record and stuff but come along with me remember God loves you and he's always with you and I'll see you in the next one